Hi loves! Today I have an extremely special video for you guys and I am so excited to finally be bringing this to you. I wanted to do something really big for prom season this year, um, but as you know prom dresses are really expensive and I wanted to not only show you a look but also show you some dress options that are current, that are for this year. You know, I still have all my prom dresses from when I went to prom in high school, but I really wanted to have things from like the new season, um, things you could go buy yourself right now. and. You probably already know that would just have been a ton of money and a ton of stress trying to find all of the dresses and stuff. So Simply Be very kindly provided me with the dresses and the accessories and everything you're going to be seeing in this video. I thought that what I would do was start out with like a get ready with me tutorial on how I did this makeup. This would be definitely something I would wear to prom. Um, I just think it's really beautiful and it's kind of more dramatic but it's still neutral and it still looks pretty in photos. It's very like classic. I don't think that you would look back years from now and think, oh my god, like that was that was crazy. You know, it's not anything that I think could be outdated or anything like that. It's very neutral but dramatic and something very special. And then I'm going to be showing you three different looks using prom dresses and accessories from Simply B. And I wanted to tell you guys about their website because number one, they are pretty inexpensive. Um, I mean prom dresses can get upwards of like $400 and as far as like really nice prom dresses and evening gowns go their prices are pretty fair. Number two they have super fast shipping. This got to me in like a matter of days so if you're looking for something last minute this is perfect. And at number three I just wanted to tell you guys about it in case you were looking for something like this. I'm going to be recycling these dresses and using them for my best friend's upcoming black tie wedding. So I want you to vote in the comments down below. Let me know which dress was your favorite, one, two, or three. And I will show you guys on Instagram next month which one the winner was and which one I'll be wearing to my best friend's wedding. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and get into the tutorial and the lookbook, and I hope you guys enjoy. I am starting off with a clean and moisturized face and I'm going to go ahead and prime the skin. Now I am going to start with eyes and move into foundation last, but I like to prime the skin now so my primer has some time to really sink into the skin and give me some extra hydration. I am also going to prep the lips with lip balm so that they stay smooth and hydrated throughout the night under my lipstick. So my eyeshadows will pop and I have a really good tacky base for them to stick to. I'm going to first conceal my eyelids with a concealer, then I will prime them in a moment. The reason I conceal them first is just to cover any veins and make the shadows really pop and have the best blank canvas possible. Then the eyeshadow palette today I'm going to be using is Lorac's Pro Palette 1 and I'm going to take the color Taupe which is just a really pretty warm light brown and I'm going to use a fluffy brush and really sweep that into the crease. You can probably tell I'm pretty messy with this shade. I'm also bringing down whatever is kind of left on the brush onto the lid um, as I'm blending it and this honestly will just help all of the colors blend later. It is kind of one of those magical colors that just works for everything. It's a really nice crease shade but it also helps for blending. So I'm just putting that all over the crease, a bit on the lid and blending until my fingers feel like they're going to fall off. Then using a pencil brush in the shade Sable, I'm going to take this color much more precisely into the outer V and the very sort of outer portion of the crease area. You can see I'm being a lot neater with this. I have a really solid idea for what I want to make the shape of my eyeshadow into. So Sable is going to be the shade that really stands out in this look. Um, so I'm just placing it exactly where I want it and then I will go in in a moment and just blend again with the same crease brush I used to put down taupe. Now I will take this shimmery nude color, coincidentally called nude in the palette, and I'm just going to place this into the inner portion of my lid. I'm really packing most of the color into the inner corners of the eyes to give me a bright, fresh, awake look, and I'm bringing whatever is left to me in with the brown shades that I have blended into the outer portion of my lid. So this is a really, really beautiful, easy look. It just makes your eyes look awake while also giving them a slight angle because you've got so much darkness on the outer corner. 
So I'm just going to place that champagne color, then take my blending brush and blend a little bit just to ensure everything is nice and neat. Then I'll take a tiny bit more taupe and blend a little bit more with that. Um, and this just kind of ensures that nothing looks too stark and everything is just one seamless look, if that makes any sense. So next comes my personal favorite part, the cat eye. And you might think this is really strange, but I found this eyeliner from NYX. It is just a like eyeliner marker that I do not like because it's basically gray. Um, the color is not very dark, but it's actually really nice for mapping out how I want my winged liner to look. So I'm really just using it to get a solid idea for what I want my wing to look like. And then I'm going to darken it and actually, you know, like outline it and make it super pretty and thick and dark. This way I don't completely butcher the cat eye with a super dark liner that's a mess to clean up. That gray liner is so much easier to fix. Um, and if you don't want to buy a really crappy liner, you can always just get a gray liquid liner. It's actually a pretty nice trick. Taking a break from eyes for a moment, we're going to work on the face. If you are fake tanning for prom, make sure that your foundation always matches your neck. Even if your face is a little bit lighter, make sure your foundation always matches the neck. That way you look a lot more natural and seamless and you don't look like you have two different colors going on. Unless you're into that, that, then you do you boo boo but I'm going to go ahead and just dot that foundation on the face and for me I really like the way that this foundation blends in with my clean fingers in fact you'll see that the coverage is so good I'm actually not going to spot conceal Clearly not natural, but just not cake face. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight under the eyes, first taking a brightening concealer from Maybelline and just putting that directly under the eyes. Then I will take this light flesh colored concealer from Rimmel. I'm going to put that under the eyes in the upside down triangle motion. And I'm going all out with this baby. So I am not being shy today. I want a bright under eye. It looks beautiful in photos when you do it right. So I'm just putting that all over my under eye in an upside down triangle motion. I'm also gonna take it between the brows, down the nose on the cupid's bow then i will blend that in using a damp beauty blender okay so honestly this is my favorite part of my makeup routine every single day whenever i do this i'm going to take a lighter colored face powder and use that to set all of the areas i just highlighted and watch the way it just like my whole face changes it's amazing this will help that concealer not budge throughout the night and it really helps to emphasize the highlight then I'm going to take some bronzer. This one is from NYC. It is their Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny, and I love it for giving my face some warmth. It is really nice because it adds a lot of color and definition to the face without being shimmery. So I'm just taking that in the hollows of the cheeks, on the forehead, under the jaw, wherever I want some more definition. Then I'm going to take Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and this one is quite dark, um, and I really only use this now for special occasions when I want a strong, strong contour, so I'm taking it under the cheekbones and really, really blending the crap out of it. Um, you really want this to look as blended and natural as it possibly can. I'm also going to take a bit under the jaw, and you can see it looks pretty harsh, pretty like fierce right here, not going to lie. So what I like to do is take a different face powder. This one is closer to my skin tone than the one I used in the center of my face and I'm just going to dab that right under the contour and let that sit there. I'm going to move into blush here using NARS Orgasm and this is just a super beautiful glowy blush but the reason I'm going to let the face powder sit under my bronzer is it actually gives the makeup a minute to set underneath then when you go in and you blend it after maybe like five minutes it looks beautiful. So after NARS Orgasm, look at how pretty that looks. I think it just ties the whole look together. I'm going to take the NARS Hungry Heart Highlight and this is completely unnecessary, but I'm going to use two highlights today because I'm crazy. So I'm putting the Hungry Heart highlight on the tops of the cheekbones, down the center of the nose. Then I'm going to use a stippling brush and Max MSF and Light Scapade because I'm addicted to this. It is like crack. Um, say crack again, crack. And I'm just going to put that on the high points of the face again. So on the tops of the cheeks, down the nose, Cupid's bow, center of the forehead, wherever I want some more glow to the face. 
Then using the fluffy brush I used for contour, you can see I'm just going over all of my cheek to ensure everything is really nicely blended. And honestly, I just love all three of these products together. Um, well, all four technically with both bronzers and I just think it looks really pretty. So I'm gonna move into brows using my favorite e.l.f. brow pencil here and I'm going to really breeze through this. I know everyone's brow routine is different, I'm just using this pencil to really outline mine and make sure that the gaps are filled in. It does make them a tiny bit darker, not anything crazy, and I really love how this brow pencil looks. So I'm just filling in all of the gaps and making mine look a bit more clean and put together. I'm also going to set those with a bit of brow gel. This is a clear one from Milani. Then at last, it is time to blend under the contour and look at the difference that this makes. Honestly, I know it seems like the tiniest step, but it really is a magic trick to blending your contour. You guys have to try it sometime. I'm gonna set everything off using my favorite makeup misting spray and this will help the makeup last all night. Then I'm gonna move into the lower lashes. First, taking the color taupe on a small pencil brush, I'm going to start in the outer corner and really brush that through until I am about, um, I would say, two thirds of the way in. Then I'm going to stop and leave that blank. I'm then going to take the color sable, as I did in the outer corner on the upper lid, and I'm going to put that into the outer corner of my lower lash line. I'm going to take this e.l.f. brush and blend, blend, blend. This has no product. This is just a really important step to make sure your lower lash line looks nice and hazy and blended. Then I'm going to take the color nude again and this is going to be my inner corner highlight. For a sultry smoldering look I'm adding dark brown liner to my waterline and tight line in my eyes. I'm also going to take this matte color called cream and pop that right on the brow bone under the eyebrows and this helps the whole look really tie together, helps anything blend out in the crease that wasn't 100% and I think that it really is just a nice finishing step. Then I'm going to curl those eyelashes and apply some Tarte Gifted Mascara but I'm not gonna worry too much about it because I'm actually gonna pop on this pair of Red Cherry 415 lashes. and look at the difference that they make. Ba-bam! And I actually trimmed this pair the tiniest, babiest bit to fit my eyes. Always trim your lashes from the outer corner so that you are not um, making them look unnatural or too long in the inner corner. Obviously adding mascara to those lower lashes and then my camera kind of cut off but I did outline my lips using my favorite nude lip liner from Too Faced and I'm going to top that off using Milani's Nude Cream Color Statement Lipstick. And there is the completed makeup. Really classic, really neutral and beautiful and I just think it looks great. Moving into my dress options, I am wearing this first piece from Simply Be, and it is this gorgeous cornflower blue gown that I am obsessed with. The neckline is super unique and it's so elegant. So I pinned my hair half back with this one and I think that this just looks so, so gorgeous. It's really unique for me um, and I, I can't get over the way that it flows in the wind. So I kept my accessories nice and silver with this, just wearing a silver bracelet. And for shoes, I wore a blush lace pair from Simply Be. I shouldn't play favorites, but this next dress is so up my alley. I love the blush color and I love the fact that it's covered in tiny little gold dots. So I'm actually wearing this one with a pair of turquoise earrings and I think that that complements the blush so, so, so well. And on the bottom, I'm actually wearing this pair of gold heels from Simply Be that is so ridiculously comfortable. They have a great heel that gives you height, but it's also super simple to walk in. And here is the whole dress again. I just think it's so elegant and to pair with it I actually am wearing this mint clutch from Simply Be as well.
And for my classic girls who just love a beautiful black gown, this one is for you. I cannot get over the bust on this dress. It is to die for. I also really love how it looks with my hair pinned over to one side and I'm wearing a pair of dangly earrings to really emphasize that. And on the bottom, I'm just wearing a pair of black heels. You could really go all out with this. But I wanted to let you guys know who stuck until the very end that simplybee.com is giving away to one of you a $200 gift card towards anything of your choice on the site. So all you have to do is comment down below which dress you liked best and you will be entered. Other rules and everything will be down below as well. And that is it for my lookbook. And don't forget that you can shop all of these dresses on the simplybee.com website. It will be linked down below. So that's going to be it for me. I'm so sorry if I missed any of your proms and if this is a little bit late. I just wanted to make sure it was perfect for you guys. So I hope you can use it in some way and use this makeup look for something. If you recreate it um, and if you want to show me, make sure to tag me on Instagram or Twitter. And yeah, don't forget to let me know which dress was your favorite. Thank you so much to Simply Be for collaborating with me and sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, my loves, I will see you very soon. Bye.